Yo, what's up every sussy Roblox gamers? So, yeah, as you might know already, today I'm going to show you the best JoJo game, or the JoJo game that has the most potential of this year. And of course, I won't talk about a universal time, YBA or Sakura stand, because we all know that those JoJo games are already popular. So today I have two new amazing JoJo games to show you. The first one is still in development, and the second one is already released. And let's go check out how good their game is going to be. Welcome to the first JoJo game, so this game name is Unforgettable Journey, which is still in development, so please don't ask me for the game link. Currently, there are only two stand in this game, so I think we have to wait for a big while until the game is released. All right, now let's look up for the stand, but we need an arrow first. Five minutes later. And here we go, we've got an arrow. Oh, there is still no sound effect for a stabbing arrow, but the animation is insane, though. So Damn, that was cool, stand summon. And here, take a look at the model around. And here is the move set of the world. Now let's see how cool the skill will be. First is M1 combo. The punch skill in this game is kind of unique because it also has the M2 combo, which I haven't seen in any JoJo game. And the next skill is Barrage. I really like how intense it is. And next is Knife Throw. Oh, and you also need this fire thing. I'm not sure what it's called, but I think it's like Rage. For the next skill, it is called Checkmate, which is a Y skill. And when you use it, this thing will appear and you have to press Y in time. If you're late, it will cancel. And next is G-Move or Impale. And there is also a standoff move set. This is an E-Move or Stand Upper Cut. R-Move or Stop Sign Skip. T-Move or Knife. Back to the stand on. So there is a skill called Launcher. When you use it, you will get into the air and you can use any skill to continue a combo. Next is Road Roller skill. And it is my favorite move in this game because of how insane it is. Very cool, I know, right? Now we come to the last skill, which is greatest high, and it just buffed damage, I think. As I was said, there are two stands in this game, and the other stand is Star Platinum. But sadly, Star Platinum is still not done well. Just look at this barrage, but it has the world voice line. Even though some skills are done already, but it still does not have a sound effect like this epic beatdown cutscene. But I have borrowed the sound effect of this Star Platinum beatdown from Jimpy Guy, so credit to him. <laughs> And welcome to the second JoJo game. This game's name is Stardust Odyssey, or you might have heard YBA plus AUT developer JoJo game, because there are so many YouTubers who make videos about this game and use that tittle, including me when the game isn't released yet. I will tell you why YouTubers always use that same tip from this JoJo game at the end of the video, so better watch until the end. Alright, so when you start the game, you will start with Standless first. And this JoJo game has the gameplay of a battleground where you have to kill other players to get another stand, which means you don't have to grind for Roka and Arrow, but you have to use your goofy skills to play. Now let me show you how cool the Standless in this game is. Let's start with the first skill, which is called Three Piece. Next is R skill or shadow kick. Y move or counter. Next is X move, which is discombobulate. You grab the enemy, then proceeds to punch them in the chest. Snap the enemy's arm with their knee, sends that same knee into their stomach, and then they end the combo with a punch to the face, knocking them away. And this will probably be the most painful skill, and that skill is balls breaker. Huh? Yep, you heard it right, balls breaker. 
Bruh. Next is G move or head crusher. You grabs the enemy and quickly slams their head into the ground three times, ending the move off by kicking the enemy away from them. Last move is like a beatdown. You grab the enemy and send two precise kicks landing on the ribs and face, followed by a charged overhead kick into a backflip stomp to the skull. To be honest, I feel like they should add more sound effects because it's too silent. More moments later. All right, now that I have been killing people for a while, I finally have enough stardust or currency in this game to buy a new stand. And the stand I can buy now is Star Platinum. And let's go showcase it, shall we? Start with the M1 combo. Barrage. Heavy punch. Ground slam. I don't know what is this move called, but it is a G move. Oh, and one thing that I hate about this game is that there is no mute song button. But lucky for you guys, they just updated and added it so you don't have to listen to this song looping for 10,000 times. And next skill is Time Stop. Next is the X move or grab skill. Last is the beatdown skill, which is probably be the coolest skill of Star Platinum. Really cool, I know, right? And the next stand we have to get is the World Gaming, which costs 1,750 Stardust. So you have to kill 35 players to get it because you get 50 Stardust per player. One hour later. And finally, we got it. Wait, what? Sorry, wrong one. And this should be the right one. And yeah, since this game is also made by YBA developers, there's going to be some sussy skin. And to get skin, you can buy it from the shop with 300 Stardust. That sussy skin is also one of the rarest skins in the game. So good luck grinding one. Checkmate. See. And let's go showcase it. Start with M1 combo as always. Barrage. Heavy punch. Knife throw. Impale. Kick combo. Time stop. And last is beat down. And we have come to the last stand, King Crimson Gaming. And that's all for today, and thank you so much if you watched until here.